Okay. Now comes time to hook up my belay device. And this is really important. This is where a lot of people have made mistakes before, myself included. In all honesty, uh, about four or five years ago I did this. I clipped in like that. And I was all bunched up on the anchor and it was kind of an awkward situation, awkward rappel stance. And I think I clipped in, I'm not sure what I did, but uh, I came pretty close to um, getting killed. Now, in this case, understand how your blade or rappel device works. Look at the directions when you buy the device. Um, get advice from a professional instructor. Okay, so I've clipped, put both ends through the pigtail. So in this here, both ends through the pigtail and see how it comes to the wire. And I take that, comes from this end here, bang. Clip it in to the belay loop, or in this case, rappel loop of my harness. Lock the carabiner, check it. Remember, don't be had. Check your harness, make sure it's backed up. Lay loose. Check my anchor, make sure I've done that correctly. My knot is tied correctly, it's equalized. My rope is through the right spot in the center. And check my device. Three major things that can go wrong when you're uh, hooking up a rappel. All right. Now I'm just about ready to go over. If I'm in an environment where I'm not really secure or I don't, it's out of the norm, I may hook up a backup to my rappel. And what I'll use to hook up a backup is a prussic knot. And if you don't know what a prussic knot is, go back, look at the other videos, find out what a prussic knot is, and we're gonna show you an application for that right now. Okay, the Prussic knot. I'll take what you Yankees call a cordelette. I call it a Prussic because that's what it is. And that's just my game, my rules, right? So, okay, so I find the center of the Prussic. Take both ends, go to the center. Quickly achieve the Prussic once. It's a girth hitch twice. It's a two wrap prussic. Nothing on my sleeves. Three times. It's a three wrap prussic. There we go. Smoothing it out. Now I want to hook it to my harness. So I can do it something like this. Just tie this off so it's not slopping all over the place. Boo boo. Hey boo boo. Uh, warning ain't gonna like this boo boo. You're using Rundle Rock for a commercial video. Don't worry about the warden. He's at Tim Hortons eating donuts. Okay, I attach the prussic to my harness. Now this prussic is hooked above the belay device. Feeling pretty good now near the edge of the cliff. I'm going to take off this backup. And here's a great little, I'm adding this as a bonus for you folks. Okay? You get these double length sling, uh, sewn slings, and you see a lot of people, they'll do this, right? And there's nothing wrong with it. It's just not the way I do it. And they'll double fold it over, throw it in there, and they'll carry it that way. And that's, that's okay until you put your pack on or your jacket and then you go, oh God, I'd like to, oh man, and, but you're in the middle of nowhere. And so you gotta like get your jacket and pack off and get this thing back out, put your heavy pack back on. And then take your stuff and, and clip it so that you can use it again. And you're doing that and it's just a big pain, right? So I, for me to use it again. Now here's the way Joe would do it. Let's do an instant replay.
So if there's a 100% chance that you're going to be using carabiners with the sling anyhow, why don't we just take the sling, hook a couple of carabiners together, then if you put a pack or a jacket on, you know, and I can even buckle it up and all that, and I'm all there, and I'm out in the cold in the wilderness, and I need to get this sling again? Well, oh, here. I'll just unclip it, pull it out, grab the carabiner. Capture! Right? So, that's a bonus, right? That wasn't intended in this, but here you go. You got a freebie there.